Hello again, it's Jason Carlson with another lock picking video. And I've got another challenge lock in the vise. This one is from K1 Locks, it's called Camouflage. This one is a, uh, I've picked a lot of K1's locks and uh, he makes some really nice locks. They are, they can be quite the challenge. And they are probably some of the most alive locks that I have ever picked. So, this has a fairly large opening in the top of the keyway, so I'm going to use my titanium tension wrench that I ground down, and I'll go in with a pick that I made, and we'll start trying to get this one open. And right off the back, we've got some movement in the back, and a little more right there, and I just dropped it. <laughs> Trying to get, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm trying to get uh, a lock picked one a day until I'm down to a reasonable amount of locks, meaning not like 20 or 30. I'm going to get two packages out early next week to some folks that I promised locks to. Since the camera's on, it's going to be uh, a different kind of animal. Very light tension on this particular lock. <coughs> Excuse me. And it definitely puts up a fight. Trying to get number three <clears throat> without oversetting number two is quite the challenge. And I'm still not quite used to this vice yet. Okay. Reset, start over. The wording on this lock is a little funky. It doesn't leave much room to pick off of any ledge, so I have to lever it off of my finger. Let's see if we can get into it a little bit better. <clears throat> I think I'm pushing too far back into the core. One is good. Two. Amazing how <clears throat> when the camera's not on, they just fall right open. A little tap tap here. There it is. Number three. And we're open camouflage by K1 Locks. <clears throat> Let's widen 
this out a little bit. And very nice 3D printed kick holder from Jason Elbert. And let's bring over the pinning tray. You'll notice this morning there are no dogs underneath my feet. What I can lock this up. The dogs have decided they're going to <clears throat> stay in the bedroom with my wife, who's still asleep. So shh. Let them sleep. Clip is off. Key is ready. Shim time. And I'm kind of shaking this morning. I wonder if it's the coffee. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> Two cups of espresso this morning. Gonna be bouncing around like a lunatic today in the office. Five pins. <clears throat> you can see some modifications to that. Very cool. All of them needed to be picked. Let's get these pins out. One is a two piece pin, which is very interesting. Oh dear, it's a broken pin. Two is a bullet pin. Excuse me, no, a bomb pin, basically a spool. Three is a serrated pin. Four serrated. And five is a T-pin, key pin. <clears throat> and in the core, we've got threading in one, three, four, undercutting in five, and maybe some light undercutting in two. <clears throat> but yeah, number one, I'll show you a close-up of that. That is a broken pin. That's that's too bad. Number one is a spool as it leaps. Factory spool. And standard copper spring. Number two, come here you, is a mushroom pen, standard mushroom pen, <clears throat> factory mushroom pen, and number three is another mushroom pen. <clears throat> Four is a very nice serrated. Very cool. Looks like it's, I don't know, it could be a screw. Or it's just a very nicely serrated key pin. That's what it is. It's a key pin that's been turned into a serrated pin. And we'll go to the back for five. Very long, very nice looking mushroom. Very cool. Come on, there we go. And in the <clears throat> Bible, there are no mods at all. And I'm going to put this back in so I know what direction that the core needs to go back in. Move some of this stuff out of the way. It's, it's just a giant mess. One of these days, I'm going to give you a tour of the mess that is my workspace. This is camouflage by K1 Locks. Let's get a close up here. And come in nice and easy. K1 
Okay. Number one key pen was a very cool serrated pen with a very, very, let's see if I can get it on camera here. Oh, come on, focus. It's a broken off top where the where it connected on was a very, very thin spool or serrated component. And that's a shame because that was a really nice looking pin. Number two is a serrated pin on top, very nice serration and a and a spool section. Serrations on three, serrations on four, and a T pin, key pin in five. Driver pin number one is a factory spool. Uh, driver pin number two looks like, uh, you know, that's probably a custom made mushroom. Um, this one looks like another custom made mushroom. This one looks like a key pin that's been very nicely serrated using a razor blade. Very pretty. And then another spool in five. All five of the springs are all phosphor bronze. And in the core, we've got threading in one, three, and four, light undercutting in two, and more significant undercutting in five. Great lock, K1. Thanks again for putting it out there in the world and letting the rest of us dig into it. <clears throat> another lock, another day. And I hope everybody has a spectacular Saturday. And, <clears throat> excuse me, throat can't get clear enough this morning. Remember to keep it real, keep it legal, and uh, go through the lock.